for the record, I did not change my hair again. It's a wig. So last week, I met up with my friend and she was like, do you have a wig that I could borrow? So I gave her one of my wigs and she's like, listen, I also have a wig. So she gave me her wig, which is this wig. And I'm like, okay, so what am I going to create with said wig? I just realized that this wig really, really resembles Kylie Jenner's hair last summer when she bleached it all and then she gave it a pinkish rose gold toner and i'm like if it kind of resembles it why not just transform into kylie jenner <laughs> so that is today's video <laughs> to clear up everything i am not uh, obsessed with kylie jenner i'm doing this video simply because i really want to see if i'm capable of transforming into the Kylie Jenner. Obviously, there's a lot in my face that is different from her. Kylie Jenner is kind of like a controversial topic, kind of like a, like a mixed reaction type of a thing, but today I'm going to transform into her because I will admit she's like really hot. My inspiration for today's look is this picture. To me, it screams like it's the Kylie Jenner look. It's like her eyeshadows, but no liner, but like a nude lip, that sort of a thing. Cool, without further ado, let's transform. Starting off by priming the face, I feel like this is something that Kylie Jenner would never ever skip. Priming is seriously important in making your makeup last. Next, before actually using my foundation, I'm actually going in with Flor Mars Liquid Illuminator. She always has really, like in my opinion, rosy cheeks. And I feel like there's a tone underneath the blush that's causing it. So that's what I'm going to be doing underneath my foundation. Kylie Jenner's foundation is always, always very flawless. It always looks very airbrushed. I'm not too keen on the heavy foundation. So I'm just going in with my regular foundation. This is the NYX uh, Mineralistic Foundation in the shade number 4. I think Kylie Jenner is a tad bit darker than me. But what else? NYX Waterproof Ultra Coverage Concealer To really really kind of get that flawless kind of foundation effect I'm also going into the powder foundation And I'm also going in with powder but I'm using the La Roche-Posay powder foundation I'm just going to pat this on on what I already have Finally, loose setting powder. So next, I'm actually going to be doing Kylie Jenner's eyebrows first before I start my eyes. So Kylie Jenner's eyebrows aren't too far off from mine with regards to the shape, but they are quite a bit more filled in and quite a bit darker. So I'm going to see how I'm going to kind of get that effect. I'm actually going to be using some colors from my Morphe palette. I'm going to be mixing and matching some. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like that's not too bad. Like, yeah, no, maybe. I watched Kylie Jenner's birthday makeup video because it's available on YouTube and her makeup artist used some tape for her eyes. I personally really really hate it when there's like a straight line of eyeshadow but this seems to be Kylie Jenner's favorite trick so... Again, taking some colors from my Morphe palette. I am starting off with... I'm gonna start off with this color and just add it into my crease area along my eye. Okay, so it seems that her eyes is made up of like a combination of browns, orange, and light pinks. Taking a very light, almost pink matching my hair type of a color, adding that all over my lid. Going in with that same brown as before and mixing it with a slightly darker brown, I'm going to go over the edges again. And then I think, but I can't really tell because of the lashes, but I think she's got a very, very faint smudged kind of liner, but done with like eyeshadow or like very, very much smudged out liner. So I'm just going to do a very faint kind of liner effect, mixing a combination of two dark browns. 
next, Kylie Jenner is never seen without false lashes. So... Then taking some MAC lashes A86. Alright. Okay, so I never know how to apply lashes on camera, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna just... yeah. Would not believe how much I, I feel I already look like Kylie Jenner. Wow. Now, her face. Her face looks like it undergoes quite the process, so we're starting. I'm going to start with Flormar's Contour Palette, basically four quadrants of colors. This and this mixed together to create Next, I'm going to be going in with my bronzer. She has very like type of like cheeks, yeah. Next, Kylie Jenner is quite the fan of blush, so I'm going to be using Flower Power by MAC. I'm not gonna go too heavy on it simply because I don't like blush, but finally for highlight, I'm going to be actually mixing two highlighters. I'm going to be using this one by Thena. I'm also going to be using Princess Cut by Jeffree Star simply because I feel like there's like two tones to her highlight. I don't know. She's actually not wearing that much highlighter, I just like that much highlighter. Finally, for lips, she's actually paired it with a nude kind of lipstick. It's actually a very, very glossy lipstick. I really hate gloss. I actually do not own any lip glosses. So I'm going to be going in with Birthday Suit by Rimmel because I feel like that is the closest color, actually. I'm actually going to be mixing two lipsticks. Um, this one is number 253 by a brand called Miscellin. Oh my god. So guys, this is my birthday look. I absolutely love it so much. I think that it represents my personality so, so much. I don't know, that's the best Kylie Jenner impression that I could do. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm actually really, really um, surprised at how well this actually like turned out. Cool, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope we'll give it a go and I will see you in my next video.